Welcome back to question two of the series where we learn how to calculate molar solubility from KSP. Question two reads, calculate the molar solubility of FeOH2- in pure water. That's iron 2 hydroxide. So let's begin by writing out the dissociation of iron 2 hydroxide in pure water. It should look like this. FeOH2 yields iron ions, and that's Fe2 plus because of that, subscript, plus OH minus, and to balance this out, we'll put a two. Now that we have our balanced chemical equation, we can create an ice table, just like how we did in question one. And since this is a solid, I should write down S, we don't worry about any of that information for our equilibrium expression. But over here, this is aqueous, and that's aqueous. What this tells us is that initially, there are no Fe2 plus or OH ions. So I'll write down zero and zero. For the change, I'll represent this as x, and since it's a one to two ratio, this will be two x. And to find E, we add I plus C, and that's always the case. So I'll add zero plus x, and zero plus two x is two x. The equilibrium expression, I'll write down Ksp, is equal to the concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactants. But our reactant is a solid, so we'll ignore it. We have Fe2 plus its concentration times the concentration of hydroxide. And I'll raise this to the power of 2 because we have a coefficient of 2. This will be raised to the power of 1, although you don't need to show it. I'll replace this x and this 2x where they belong. So I have x times 2x raised to the power of 2, much the same way we did in question 1. And we end up with 4x cubed. We'll locate Ksp for this molecule in this chart. And as you can see, it's right here. 4.87 times 10 to the power of negative 17. 4.87 times 10 to the power of negative 17. This is three significant figures. Keep that in mind. I'll divide both sides by 4. That gets rid of this 4 and then I'll cube root both sides. So let's go ahead and do that. 4.87 times 10 raised to the power of negative 17 divided by four, and now we cube root both sides of this equation. So I'll cube root that number that I just found, and I end up with 2.30 times 10 to the power of negative six. Notice that it's correct to three significant figures. So that right there represents x, and we can substitute this number back into where I'm highlighting to find the concentrations of Fe2 plus and OH minus. So the concentration of Fe2 plus, since it's simply x, is this, and it'll be molar. And the concentration of OH minus will be this number times two, and you should end up with the following. And there you have it. Another example on how to calculate molar solubility from KSP.